We're standing here at the Belarusian-Ukrainian border. Here, as you can see, the Belarusians have set up barbed wire. On the other side, just a few meters away, is Ukraine, and they have set up barricades. The Belarus-Ukraine border has been a strategic location for Russia since it invaded Ukraine a year ago, when Russian troops mounted attacks from here. Now, as Kiev warns of a renewed Russian offensive, tensions along this 620-mile-long frontier are ratcheting up, renewing fears in Kiev and the West of a possible joint attack on Ukraine. The Belarusian State Border Committee invited us on a rare visit to see what's happening here. Ситуация на текущий момент достаточно напряженная, и соблюдать меры безопасности, конечно же, нужно. In recent weeks along this border, Belarusian forces have been holding joint combat drills with Russian troops, and on the other side, Ukraine's military has been reinforcing defenses. The Border Patrol says that there has been a lot of tension at this particular border, which is closed at the moment. They say that sometimes drones fly over. Ukrainian forces have admitted to such activity to monitor for potential new attacks. Ну, ми використовуємо дрони для того, щоб постійно знати, чим займається противник. Ми постійно контролюємо противника з неба, дивимося їхні, якщо є такі переміщення військових військ, яка кількість військ переміщиться, куди переміщиться. Ну, і відповідно, що ворог за нами теж сліде, він постійно контролює Guards on the Belarusian side are keeping a close eye on the border. Others are training to intercept any unauthorized crossings. Belarusian officials say they think Ukraine may launch an attack. Ukraine has dismissed this assertion. The situation can change in a few minutes or hours. И нам придется реагировать. Пограничная служба Республики Беларусь к таким вызовам готова, готова отреагировать соответствующим образом. Белорусский президент Александр Лукашенко, an authoritarian ruler and a close ally of Russian President Vladimir Putin, said in recent days that he would again let Russian troops use Belarus to launch attacks on Ukraine. But he said he has no intention of sending his own troops there, though he warned of one important exception. Я готов и не просто предоставить, а готов вместе с россиянами воевать с территории Беларуси лишь только в одном пока случае. Если оттуда хоть один солдат с ружьем придут на нашу территорию убивать моих людей. Military action would likely come with challenges for Lukashenko. Belarus has a small army. They are not tested. And moreover, polls show that Belarusians do not have an appetite for war. But some Belarusians are supporting Russia in other ways. Here at the Belarusian Women's Union, people have been gathering boxes of donations, of supplies, food, medicine, for people in Donbass who they say are suffering and need the help. Vladimir Kazbanov is the business manager of the Alexei Talai Foundation, where volunteers work to send supplies to pro-Russian parts of Ukraine's eastern Donbass region. We divide it by children's homes, by hospitals and by residents of the frontline areas. Kazbanov and his colleagues say they try to stay out of politics and that the suffering of the war transcends borders. На друг друга опираемся. Россия на Беларусь, Беларусь на Украину. Я больше даже скажу и Украина всегда опиралась на Беларусь. Для Беларуси Украина и все, что происходит, это боль, это личная боль, это как в семье. Lukashenko said that his country is willing to offer more assistance to quote our Russian brother in the war against its cross-border neighbor, but has dismissed claims by Kiev that Putin can pressure him to take a more direct role in the conflict. If they do not aggression against Belarus, the answer will be stronger. Stronger. And the war will be a completely different character.